All right, here is Rain Man's latest work. This is called John, which is uh, based off of the film called The Elephant Man, the life story of John Merrick, who was a severely disfigured uh, man that lived in the 19th century in London. Played by the late John Hurt. A tribute bust here that Rain Man did. Amazing detail on here with the gold. Making it uh, look, you know, look like the, the bust has aged over the years. And that's definitely John Hurt right there. Sculpted by uh, Rain Man himself. Uh, comes with picture frames. It's been a while since I've seen the film. Last time I saw this film, I was a kid. Uh, that's a picture of his mother. Um, the picture frames here of the... The kid praying next to the bed and then um, sleeping. If memory serves me correct. These were, I want to say, uh, pictures that he had in his room. Um, he wanted to always sleep like a normal human being. But because of his condition and the size of his head, if he was to lay down like a regular person... I think he would either break his neck or he would uh, suffocate in his sleep. So he actually had to sleep upright, which sucks. The DX set comes with the two different looks um, that John had uh, in the film. Uh, the first one is with him in wearing the hood and the black cloak. Uh, basically, uh, this is the same head head sculpt that you see here. Same uh, that you that's underneath the hood. Um, this is by far, I'm gonna say, uh, Rain Man's best uh set ever done uh reason being and it's a shame because i really can't show you the detail that he put on the body itself i'll show you photos at the end of the review uh he sculpted everything the entire body hands the sculpt everything by hand And you really can't show it because, one, it's very difficult to take the clothing off. The body is so deformed, uh, I don't want to take it off and then, you know, it'll be a bitch to put back on. And I don't want to mess around with the way um, this body was actually designed. I don't want to mess with the mechanics on it. So... I will just show photos at the end of the review, but you have this version, the very well-known look, especially on the uh, the cover of the film, of him um, completely covered. And then you have the Victorian suit uh, look version of uh, pretty much with him trying to fit into uh, society. Anthony Hopkins was in the film as well, uh, who took John in and was pretty much just treating him, you know, like he should be as a normal human being. For me, when I saw this film as a kid, uh, I thought it was a horror movie that I was watching, but uh, my mother explained it to me at the end and pretty much the message behind the, the character and the person that he is or was is basically and we and we need this message today no matter what race you are religion that you worship or whatever your sex is 
if you have a handicapped, whatever, always treat everybody like, you know, the human being that they are. Um, cause this dude was treated like shit yet. He always showed compassion, uh, towards others. So I remember my mom giving me that message and basically, you know, stating that there are people in this world that have, um, issues going on with them, handicaps, um, and never to tease them and, uh, and talk about them. And I never did. Uh, when I was a kid. So uh, for me, this set here hits home. Uh, this is definitely something I can show my parents and and uh, that'll bring back memories for when uh, when it came on TV. I hated black and white films. So I'm like, why am I sitting down here watching this? But I got into it. And um, Excellent film, sad, very sad film, but um, um, yeah, so I think he was dying anyway um, because something was going on with his respiratory system where I think it was failing him or something like that. So I think he knew he was dying anyway. And I think at the end of the film, when he actually took the pillows off his bed, uh, he pretty much said, if, if I'm going to die, you know, regardless of the, my situation, if I can't be cured, I'm going to sleep like a regular person. And uh, he went on him and he laid down like that. And I think he passed in his sleep that way. So, uh, again, sad story, but um, excellent film. Uh, again... I will show photos at the end of the uh, the review here of the fully sculpt uh, body uh, that Rain Man did. Just fucking amazing. Um, to end this review, I just want to make some pointers on something. Uh, I remember I was once again arguing with someone who has zero knowledge of what art is um he said at the end of the day these are toys and i sat there and i said do you know the definition of a fucking toy a toy is something that you play with uh that's it's considered something that is for a child and I'm like, these are custom art pieces. These are not toys. They're not meant to sit here and to be played with. Um, and I'm like, you do realize the work that one would put into something like this. This right here, I mean, Lee put in, I mean, he outdid himself here with uh with this piece and the hobby has now turned into pretty much saying hey rather than getting something that's authentic um i can settle for a bootleg version aka red man toys and be happy with that of course it's your money do whatever you want to do with it but at the end of the day, the company is giving you a replica of a custom art piece and it's going to be cheap as fuck and they're taking your money and get for it and they're putting shit out to get a quick buck. And it's sad that a lot of these collectors are supporting that shit. You know, I get it. Some of the shit you really can't afford, you know. Some people can't afford to spend all the money on these uh, custom art pieces. But you know what? At least have the integrity and respect it from the side and just admire it from the side. Don't go out there and grab some bootleg shit and, you know, have that in your collection. Um, I collect everything from this to statues um, to... Um, 
Jordan's comics, you know, it's like taking a, a number one Amazing Spider-Man comic and making Xerox copies of it and then putting it together and say, oh, I got my Amazing Spider-Man number one. It's not the first print, nor is the second print. It's a fucking Xerox copy from a Xerox machine. And I just don't understand where's your integrity when it comes down to being a collector. You know, that's the whole point of the terminology of, 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 of a collector, I believe, is to um, collect something, but collect something that's authentic. Some people collect rocks. But I don't think they're going to sit there and sculpt a rock out of clay and say this is an actual rock. You know, stick to being authentic and and not this bootleg shit. Um, there's just no room for, for bootleg. There's just no room for it at all. Um, sometimes it makes people... Like, for instance, Michael Jordan barely even signs or autographs uh, shoes anymore because uh, over in Asia, there's so many fucking bootleg Jordans out there that, you know, there are some people out there that are savage that will go buy a bootleg Jordan and try to get it autographed and then try to sell it for like thousands of dollars telling people it's authentic and Michael signed it. When it's not authentic, you know, and now the man, like I said, the man himself barely even signs shoes anymore because he knows of the, the you know, the bullshit out there, uh, the bootlegs and everything. So that sucks. And it sucks for collectors like me who go out and buy the real shit and would like to get, you know, shoes signed by him. <clears throat> um. And then plus with the bootleg stuff, you're taking the risk of losing um, an artist that just says, you know what, I don't want to continue to make shit. And then it's put out there on the market and being replicated, uh, you know, looks like shit. I'll give you a prime good example of what I have respect for. For instance, 3-0 just announced that they were doing Bubba, uh, pretty much Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, Beta Metalli already did a custom art piece of Bubba, which came out fucking beautiful. I'm in the mar I'm I'm looking for one of those, so hopefully during the holidays I can I can snatch one. But anyway, um 30 went on ahead and uh they're gonna put one out. But what they did was they found their own artist, their own tailor, and they created a figure um by using their resources. They didn't grab Beta Metallis and replicate it and then throw it out there on the market. I'll have more respect for people who were like, you know, fuck, I couldn't get a leather face, but now three zeros do one so I can get one from them. <clears throat> I have more respect for that than motherfuckers running directly to Red Man Toys and, and buying some, um, some uh, a bootleg version. That's anyway. I don't want to get too much in depth of that because it's taken away from uh, the the master artwork here uh, done by Lee. So once again, here's detail of the sculpt. Amazing. Same, like I said, same sculpt underneath the uh, hood version there. And, um, yeah, I'm probably going to look at the film over the weekend and uh, check it out again. With that being said, I will show you guys the photos of um, what Lee did by sculpting the entire body. And that'll be it. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I will have another masterpiece Coming from the great Arnie Kim, quarter scale Clark Kent, uh, called First Day. Uh, basically, Christopher Reeve, uh, the first day that he showed up at the Daily Planet for work. Um, when I found out he was doing that, I was like, look, I need one. 
And I was like, how much? And I was like, oh my God. Uh, very expensive, only 10 made worldwide. But when I get this in, I mean, this really hits home for me because uh, I'm a Superman nut. Uh, Christopher Reeve was always going to be Superman to me. So, um, and that was the very first film that I saw in theaters was uh, Superman. So, um, hopefully that will be here in a couple of weeks and we'll do a uh, thorough review on that. And um, more to come. I am moving, so uh, all this stuff is going to be packaged back up. And I will uh, have a uh, complete room dedicated to uh, my collection. And I will show you guys everything. This is just bits and pieces, but uh, I'll show you guys everything uh, that I got going on. Till then, fuck you, Red Man Toys. Don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> Stay authentic. Stay authentic. <laughs>